Let's talk about the Radio Shack's Video Text Terminal Emulator. This software was first used by their AgVision console. It was sold in the early 80s to farmers so they could download information like commodity prices and weather forecasts. It then morphed into the Video Text Terminal. It's the same product but sold to a general audience. Radio Shack also sold subscriptions to CompuServe so people would have something to connect to. The Video Text software has a few interesting features that I would like to show off. To help with this, I wrote a server that I'll use for this demonstration. To connect to the host, first press the break key, then pick up the telephone handset and dial the telephone number of the information service. When you hear the tones, press enter on the terminal and hang up the receiver. Eventually, the host will respond. First, I'll display some text. Notice how the terminal emulator will wrap the words nicely to the next line as they come through the 300 bit per second interface. Next, let's look at low res graphics. These machines use the same video chip as the color computer. So here we are looking at the host move the cursor around and send graphic blocks to the screen. Third is medium res graphics. Here, the terminal emulator is switched into a graphics mode and the image is sent to the display using a form of run length encoding, very slowly.
Next is a store and forward mode. This lets you write text offline to be uploaded later, thus saving expensive connection charges. First, we reset the machine, and instead of tapping break to go online, we just start typing text. This text is being entered into page six. It's the default page when you start typing. After you're done, we tap the break key and go online. Connect as usual, Then ask the host to retrieve page six. Taking a look at the resulting data in a hex editor, the 1.1 version of the terminal program will send text up to the first graphic block, usually the text cursor. Notice it sent whole lines, even the many blank spaces on the first line. Also notice the code that is appended to the end of the data. Finally, the terminal program can accept 6809 machine language programs from the host. In this example, I'm showing a program that displays the decoded keyboard matrix as you press keys. So far, no video of the kind of information that was sent to the AgVision has ever been found. It would be interesting to see what it looked like. But I hope this demonstration proved what could be possible with the software.